Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be doing Revit MEP and I'm going to be creating plumbing to be specific. So this will be just a simple project. MEP is just a complicated part of Revit and there's a lot to learn so I thought it would be a good place to start to do just a simple project for a small bathroom and we're just going to be getting the water to, to the bathroom to some water closets and then we're going to be taking the water away as well but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be choosing the mechanical template for this because this just goes with the plumbing goes with the mechanical template in Revit and here we have our mechanical our mechanical template opened up and we have some floor plans and everything but first we need to have some structure or, or some bathroom where we're going to be working in and for that I'm going to be linking up a separate project that I did earlier on so I'm just going to go here to insert link Revit open this up go to desktop and here we have this auto repair shop project and I've used this project earlier just to show you how to do ventilation and how, how to do a HVAC system and I created that and if you want to see that tutorial it will be linked up in the description of this tutorial so here I have just a simple small bathroom and this was what we're going to be working with and if I scroll down here in the project browser you can see we have some plumbing some plumbing floor plans but I actually don't like using these their setup is kinda weird so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and then I'm just going to go here to mechanical right click duplicate so I'm just going to be duplicating this view and then what I'm going to do while this is selected I'm just going to rename it and let's rename it at just simple for this simple project and then I'm while this is selected you go to the properties panel and here you can see the discipline is mechanical but we're going to change the sub discipline from HVAC to plumbing because this is a plumbing project and immediately it, it jumped down to simple and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a call out for this bathroom because we have this whole floor plan and we're not really using it we're just using the, the, the bathroom part so I'm just going to zoom in here go to view find this callout here and then just create a simple callout like so just encompassing our bathroom and then let's open this callout out so we have our callout over here and let's go to the properties panel again and let's see the disciplines so let's see it's in plumbing yeah that's okay make sure that when you scroll down here that you have it not the view template mechanical plan but you change this to none so I'm just going to go apply OK and then if I scroll up a bit I'm just going to change the sub discipline to plumbing go OK apply and the main discipline will leave at mechanical so we have everything set up now we need to go into VG just to check everything out to see can we see everything properly and you just scroll down and you can see we have some MEP, we have some ducting and everything like that. You can uncheck this if you have a complicated floor plan and you don't want to see all of the HVAC elements, you can uncheck these ducts. But I'm just going to leave them in. And then I'm going to just search and see that everything that's concerning piping is turned on because we need to have that turned on so everything is working so that's okay and then I'm just going to jump here to filters and here you have filters for all of the plumbing elements and you need to check the visibility in order to see everything so just go apply okay and we're finished with all of the view setups so this will be a simple callout one and now we can start working so we're just going to go to the systems tab this is where we're going to be creating everything and first you need to go to here this plumbing fixtures open this up and as you can see we don't have anything loaded so we need to load it but I'm just going to hit no over here and go to insert because I want to insert multiple families so I'm just going to go to load jump back a folder to go to metric and if you're using Imperial just go ahead and use Imperial and here I'm just going to search for plumbing find plumbing go to MEP find fixtures 
then scroll down and find connectors and let's load all of these connectors in so just go open and we need to have all of them and now let's go back to the systems family and find plumbing fixture and let's add our connectors so just go plumbing fixture and let's go here and see what we have if we open this up let's go to domestic cold water because this is a water closet we don't really need hot water we just need cold water and make sure that place on face is selected and then you zoom in and you place it on this face of the wall over here so you just place it like that and if you can't see it right that's okay you just go here and change this to wireframe and now you can see it and maybe we can move it down just to center it up or actually I'm just going to move it a bit down or to the right side of this toilet because we need another connector later on so let's leave it at this okay and one more thing let's scroll up over here and for elevation I'm going to type in 500 millimeters for this one so let's leave it at 500 millimeters and it's a 30 millimeter piping so that's quite okay for this water and we can actually change it we can change it maybe to 20 millimeter and then you just start creating your water piping so you just go like that and if the lines are thin you can actually change that just uncheck this thin lines and it looks kinda like that it looks better but let's change the scale to 1 to 50 it looks a bit better and you just kinda go all the way over here and now let's bring this pipe down it needs to go through the floor and into the ground where it will be connected to some source I'm guessing and to do that you need to just change here this offset and let's change it to minus 1000 millimeters and then just connect continue going like so and as you can see we can't really see where this went so I'm just going to type in VR for view range and let's change this to unlimited both of these bottom and view depth and go apply and now we can see even though this is beneath our floor we can see it and here we have this symbol for the drop so here it goes vertically down by 1.5 meters and now once we have this we can go here and select this connector go CO for copy select this here endpoint and let's place it over here for the second water closet and again go to this and just connect it to this pipe and as you can see we have now this connection element over here okay so we've got our, our water to our water closet now we need to take the dirty water away and to do that we need to add some elements as well we need to add some PVC piping for this and to do that you need to go here to the insert tab again go to the load family let's drop back a few folders and go into US metric or US Imperial if that's what you prefer using and now I'm just going to search here for pipe go to fittings go to PVC go to schedule 40 socket type and then let's select all of these elements and open them up and wait for a second okay they're all loaded in now let's go back into our systems tab and now let's go to pipe and you can go here to edit type and let's duplicate the standard type into our new PVC type so let's just call it PVC and type OK then you need to go to this routing uh, preferences and go to edit and here just we're going to make some changes and we're going to change all of these routing preferences to our new PVC elements so you open up this drop menu you go and you find this polyvinyl carbonate and rigid schedule 40 you do the same thing for this PVC now for the preferred junction type let's leave it at T for junction let's put this again leave PVC for pretty much everything PVC you just leave this flange to none and then you go for cap again PVC schedule 40 go OK OK and now we have our PVC piping and before we place our piping we need to place our connectors so you go again to plumbing fixtures and you search for the sanitary connector so you just go this sanitary standard and you just place it on the wall like you did the last one and for elevation I'm just going to leave this one at zero so the last one for getting the water here it was at 500 millimeters this one will be at zero and then let's place it over here and now let's place our PVC piping so select this icon over here and then let's change the diameter so let's change it at something like 80 millimeter 
and before we go we need to go from slope off so it's currently at slope off you set it to slope down and you change the value to two percent or whatever you use in, in your country and if you're using imperial units this will be a bit different it won't be in percentage but you get the point so you change it to slope down and now this will calculate the actual slope the reason why we need to do that is when we're getting water towards our water closet it's pressurized and it can go just straight in a straight line but when it's going away it's not pressurized so it needs some slope in order to just get our water away from our water closet so I'm just going to leave that slope at 2% and just start placing it like so and go all the way here now let's change this offset to let's change it to minus 1000 millimeters so it drops down underneath the house and it goes away so let's just leave it at that and once we've created this here piping we need to select this connector go CO for copy or just go here to copy and then you select this over here and you copy it all the way to this bathroom over here you just go create pipe and you just go a little bit over here so I'm just going to extend it just a little bit and then I'm just going to go at 45 degrees and connect it to this existing pipe over here and as you can see it created a connector over here now make sure that you're using the right size or the right diameter of piping because if you're using something larger this might not be enough room to have all of these elements and all of these curvature over here with our piping but there you go you get the point so we have our piping over here and let's just go into 3d to see what that looks like and as you can see over here it looks kind of messy you don't really see anything with these thick lines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on thin lines and now everything's thinner but let's see our pipes so I'm just going to change the detail level to fine and now we can see our actual piping and as you can see now everything is connected and if I go here into realistic it looks way better so there you go we have our system and we get our water to our water closet and then we have our sewage system to get the water away from the water closet and you would repeat the same thing for the rest of your sanitary elements in your building okay so that is it for this simple project where I show you how to do plumbing in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And please tell me if there are any plumbing or MEP specialists out there watching this video. Have I done this the right way? Is there any better way to do plumbing in Revit? Or have I made any plumbing mistakes? Okay, but anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's tutorial.